Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is My ex lined up someone new. Now, this is video number 48. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on this channel, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and hit like so that the channel may grow. Now then, my ex lined up someone new. This video is for those of you who have been recently out of a breakup, and then shortly after the breakup, your ex almost immediately begins dating somebody new. It could also be for those of you who notice that your ex is texting a lot before the breakup actually happened, but it's kind of going downhill, and perhaps they've been a little sketchy about letting you see their phone, and you notice them hanging out with new people or staying out late or acting just in a way that you you just really haven't seen them act before. And so your mind turns to several theories. One of which could be that they're cheating. One of which could just be that they need some time and space and maybe you've respected it. But eventually the breakup happens and then, what do you know, a week, two weeks, a month later, they're dating somebody new. One of the first things that may be happening in your mind is you think, this person's been around. This is not somebody new in their life. And while I have no proof that they were cheating, I strongly suspect that an emotional bond was beginning to form right around the time we broke up. A common term we use for this in the breakup world is monkey branching, where they are swinging to the next branch, but they don't fully grasp it until they let go of the first one. And the idea is they don't fully let go of the relationship they have with you until they have somebody lined up. The reason that exes do this is to fill the void that they basically know they're going to feel, because it's Hard to believe, but exes do feel pain after a breakup, and they know that they want to avoid that pain, so they fill it with different fantasies and novelties and distractions, basically. Because it's much easier to just move forward with somebody new than it is to look back and dwell upon your mistakes and how that relationship might have been able to work out if you both put in equal effort. Now, with this new person in their life, oftentimes this new person knows that they were just out of a breakup and they were kind of waiting in the wings. Another common term you might hear for this one is orbiters. So your ex carries on with this person in order to distract themselves. Because remember, even though we're going through breakups, your ex does feel pain. I can't stress that enough in this video. Every time that they pass by a place you both used to frequent, they'll remember about you. And every time that no friends are available to hang out, they'll realize that they're lonely and they'll think about you. And every time that they're up late at night and they can't fall asleep, their thoughts will turn to you. Now, they're making a decision in this moment whether they're happier in their life with you in it or not in it. And certainly, this new person in their life will act as a distraction. But what you need to remember is that your ex had months, years, maybe even decades of emotional bonding with you. And so this new person, though he or she or they are a distraction. It is a constant comparison in your ex's mind. Is this person going to be somebody who can make me happy long term? Was this person a good choice for my mental health? Because remember, at first, your ex and this new person will be going through the puppy love. And that is a powerful, powerful feeling because it's a new flood of the oxytocin from a new person, a new source. However, that only really lasts a month or two. After that point, the other person begins to drop their guard, your ex begins to drop their guard, and they let some of the mistakes happen, some of the fights begin. The puppy love phase is over. At that point, that's usually when you see that your ex will make a decision. Now during this time, it's only natural to worry and ask yourself questions like, is my ex in love with this person? How did my ex move on so easily? Does my ex miss me or care about me at all? These questions are completely normal because at this moment you're in a state of a depression. Your ex walked away from you and so your validation is gone. You feel that the only person that actually cared about you and who was willing to be with you for a long period of time just walked away. So what does that say about me? But you have to remember that these thoughts are intrusive, but they are not there forever. They will go away with time, with working on yourself, with meditation, with turning inward and reminding yourself that you were okay with yourself before your ex came into your life and you will be after. But let me turn this whole issue on its face. Here's what I want you to think about. The sooner that your ex goes out into the world and experiences new dating 
and new relationships, the sooner they'll be able to make a decision on if they want to come back to you or not. A decision on if they are happier without you in their life or with you in their life. If all your ex is doing is sitting in the place where they remained, where they broke up with you, and they haven't really moved forward or backwards, they just are there. It's going to take longer for them to make a decision on if they want to come back or not. But if they're out there experiencing new things with new people, they can say, you know what, I don't like this as much as I liked my old partner. And so I don't want you to worry too much about them going and being with somebody new. Remember that the thoughts that you are having where you're beating yourself up and telling yourself that this new person is better than you, those are just intrusive thoughts. Those will change. Those will leave. And during this time, if you turn inward and focus on all the things that we've discussed here, you know that you're going to come out on top. I realize that this particular video topic is going to come with a lot of specific questions, and so I encourage you guys to put them down below, and I'll try to get to all of them if I can. That's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, you can just follow the link below. Until next time.